Yo, 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 Keith. I don't want to move. I'm too lazy today. Your bed feels so good. But I was wondering what's in store for this year of YouTube video. All I can say is that it's going to be different from last year. You mean like how last year's didn't feel like a recap of the year, it was just a super edit of your bad first video? No, I'm not doing that again. Wait, aren't we in the four years of YouTube video right now? What are you doing? You know I don't read scripts. That means I can tell you what's in this special video. <sighs> Fine. What are we doing then? Just sit down and chat. Oh, come on! That's so boring and cliched. I'm not doing that. Okay, I wasn't planning on having you in it anyway. It's more of a me thing rather than a you thing, so... Oh. Wait. Does that mean I'm only in it for the intro? What the fuck? Sorry for that. Rito doesn't like it when he doesn't have big roles in uh, videos. I have the best talent but... out of anyone. Just ask my agent, Rebecca. Anyways, I want to do something different. I want to do a talk about the entire four years I've been on YouTube. Instead of focusing on what uh, happened this year only. I've gone through a lot of changes. Uh, I started out as a 15-year-old boy with braces. And to a 19-year-old man. <laughs> you still sleep with Spongebob <sighs> covers on your bed. Oh my god. Rito, just, just go do something more productive, okay? Fine. Continue your video. I'll just be eating the air, because you know, I can't eat anything else on this planet. Let's just go to the video now. So, to get started with this video, uh, I don't really know how to really begin, I guess, because I wrote topics down. This isn't scripted anymore. I'm gonna ad-lib part of the video, which is the rest of it, so I guess, well, the first topic I have is, uh, how making videos affected my life. So, I guess the way to answer that is by looking back to start. Essentially, didn't have much to do before YouTube. I mean, that was always home. I mean, I, I did go to school. But it was like, it never really, once I got home, I didn't really do much, except do homework, and that was it. I never went anywhere during the weekends, so I went to my grandma's on Sunday, but even then I was still on the computer. So even during the summertime and all spring break, I was mostly at home. Yes, I did go out to stuff in the beach and all that, but I mainly stayed home. So I took that spare time and I made videos out of it, so it affected my life mainly because of the way I look at YouTube. I mean, before I did go on YouTube sometimes, but uh, I just never understood it in the way it does. But doing YouTube for four years now, I have a better understanding of it. Granted, I don't know the whole entire story of YouTube, but hopefully, I hopefully know in the next four years, but... <laughs> I do understand it more, I, I understand terms, like I had no idea what a thumbnail was until I started YouTube. I had no idea what tags did or what they were, um, I didn't know the algorithm worked, still don't but I have a better understanding of it, um, how to rank videos, um, all that kind of stuff that does help out if you know it, which I do know a little bit of it now, so uh, knowing information it does kind of uh, change my perspective of YouTube and another thing I talk about how it affected my life is because when I went to college I'm getting a major in digital mass media which is essentially filmmaking but a lot of people are in that class and they've said that they just want to make videos or because they have a YouTube channel and similar to me and my situation because I have a YouTube channel I've been doing it for a couple years and in that class we do editing I also my senior year I did take an editing class well a film it's a film class but we did editing and stuff like that filmed and edited. So, 
I actually did make a gaming video, which was kind of cool, because I, I was in my home field, and I, it was really good, it was really funny. Everyone in my class laughed, but besides the point, I, I'm majoring that, and if I didn't do YouTube, I don't know what I'd be majoring, I would have no idea. So, thank you, Kevin, for telling me to be in a video on March 5th or whatever, 2016. Could upload two days later or whatever, but the second topic that I have is my content uh, changing. Yeah, so basically my content has been changing so much over the years. I think each year it's kind of has an evolution and a downward spiral, uh, if I could explain why I think like this way. So when I first started out in 2016, it was more the typical quietness and cringiness in those videos, which I remember at the time they were fine, but when you look back, if anyone's a channel who's been posting videos for years now looks back on their first couple videos or their first year of making videos, you realize that the way <laughs> you would make the videos is a lot more is cringy, and the way you spoke and stuff like that, and the way your attitude to the camera is, is a bit weird. Like, I didn't have a webcam at the time, but if I did, I would probably be looking down like this. Not more looking at the camera right now. And also, I sound very quiet and deep. I, I, I can't even replicate, because I just, over years, pitched my voice up. So, that's what happened. Also, the editing, I did, like, for my sake, I made a lot more things harder than they were. Because I didn't have the editing software, like, the beginning months. I didn't have a thumbnail maker. I didn't have... I only had fraps and get recorded, and that was it, nothing else, just the raw footage, upload it, boom, done, that was it. Upload on the same day that I recorded it, without doing anything. So the videos can be very, very long and it can be very, very um boring. Like a lot of stuff can be cut out. Like my plan for the zombie videos, I remember they were long, but you could argue that they were that was an exception because you know they're showing up a level, but at the same time like, it would be nice if I cut it down just a little bit. Moving on to the next year, the 2017, I remember, I remember going back like a month or two ago watching my 2017 videos, and I talked way too much. Um, I didn't know how to edit myself down. What that means is that when I talk for a real long time, I cut certain points out because they're not useful for the video, it doesn't add anything. Like I will for this video because I know I'm talking a lot, I will cut down a bit of it. It fit. Uh, is important to what I'm saying, I'll keep it if it isn't like I'm rambling on on on, it could be removed. So I didn't, I, that's a lesson I learned years later when I watched that a couple months ago or whatever, how long ago, I don't remember, it was a couple months ago. But I was too talkative during that time, but I was getting a little bit better in editing, a little bit. That's where I'm going to 2018, where I made more videos that were edited and more I, this year, I say, is the peak of my YouTube channel. Like, this is the best year because there was minimal, like, uh, production problems, minimal stuff. I had OBS, because last year, I should say, I used OBS because Fraps broke. So I used OBS, which was good. When it first started out, the audio was a bit, you know, like, wavy, I would say. Yeah, but it, it, it fixed itself, and the videos I made were good. When I saw you the like the best or the best out of the, out of the years prior, but I did more experiments as well, like uh, movie movie reviews, uh, the, the what, what else I do? Um, the reactions to stuff. Uh, I started in 2017 and moved to 2018 where I did all the reactions, movie reviews, more uh, browser game videos I did, and also Fortnite. Um, like I said, more edited stuff. I remember doing the uh, Pray for Sunday video. Got a lot of views, really important milestone, and also did a bunch of other Sunday videos, did like two, maybe, what, I think I did another one, but it wasn't 2019, I think, um, but I did two more Sunday videos to complete that trilogy, for, because that's some videos he did, uh, I did a Sky as Minecraft one, because he was, I think, done with Minecraft or something, but then returned, um, I did a lot of stuff, and I also did, one last thing that was also important, which I think is the true potential that I could have, is the Mindplex video, where it's 
all the mini games being removed by in Star Wars style, which I really like that video. And I always go back to it if I'm ever bored. Because it has a lot of views, and I believe it's the most popular on this channel, QJK Bob. I didn't post on the other one, because I did move over. So I really like that video, I do. Because it is what I like. It's not like the Pray for Sunday video, it, it was more what the algorithm want. The only reason it got popped because the algorithm picked it up because it was a hot topic at the time. But that wasn't what I wanted to do. I didn't want to spend my time making those type of videos because they were really stressful to make and time consuming because I had to do it on the day of, not wait until tomorrow to upload because then it would not get that many views. But making uh, these type of videos, the Star Wars style videos, that was, was that edited is more better for me. Because, yes, yeah, it's very doing a uh, schedule, because else uh, no one's going to watch it then. It's not going to be a hot topic, but it's still going to be uh, that good. It was good, and it was something that I like doing. And I did kind of do more of it recently, but I don't know, that, that's all of 2018. 2019 is a year where I think it's in a downward spiral. The reason I say that is because on January 2nd, Two days of the new year, my audio broke because uh, my f editing software, the the voiceover thing broke, so Kevin wanted, he was helpful enough to fix it, but it didn't work, and it actually screwed up my audio. I don't blame him, I blame myself, because uh, I don't know what I did, <laughs> but I ruined the audio, and that's why whenever I make gameplay videos, the audio is so bad, I can't fix it, I've tried for months, I spent like the first six months or whatever of 2019 trying to fix the audio but no one on YouTube seems to have an answer to it because no one else has this issue but me. That's that's a common thread. No one else has this issue but me. I don't understand why. I don't understand what the issue is. That's why I just left it because maybe one day someone will comment and uh, fix because I do not have the solution. I tried looking at the solution. It does not work. And that's pretty much what that year is. The reason why I say it's a downward spiral also because of the glitched audio, I just wasn't into making videos all that much. And it just, toward later in the year, because I was like college, I just didn't feel like making videos. It was the first time I didn't really make videos, so I just didn't make a video then. I said, screw it. I'm, I'm not that big on YouTube. Screw it. No one's going to care. No one cares. You guys don't care. And I'm fine with that. And that actually helped me out a lot. Instead of making videos that I don't want to make, I make videos that I do want to make. And that may led me to making shorter videos, which I actually like making because they're actually easier to make because it fits in. I can just make it in an hour, schedule it, forget about it. Then the next day at 2 o'clock, it uploads. Oh, cool. Just post on Discord. We're all good to go. Going into 2020, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, so far, hopefully, things change. I am planning on deleting Discord and reinstalling it, seeing if that works, but I just don't have the time to do it, because I just, with college and making videos and stuff like that, preparing videos and stuff like that. Benefits to me are that I know a lot of stuff about YouTube, like I said about the first topic, um, I have a schedule, even though if it's, even though if it's a complicated schedule, I did have a schedule for quite some time, like, uh, even for upload dates, like, at, every day at 2 o'clock, or whenever I make a video at 2 o'clock, a video is uploaded, that's schedule. Um, finding time to edit a video, I spend, I, well, I wake up around, I'm not gonna say when I wake up, but I start, I start recording videos at 1 o'clock, and I usually deal with all my editing and filming around 3-ish. I would say 3 ish, 3.30, depending on how long I edit the video. So I spent about two hours doing all the YouTube, uh, making video, editing video, making a thumbnail and all that kind of stuff. And then I basically spent the time doing whatever until 4 o'clock where I, that's when the news comes on, like watching the news, you know, dinner and stuff like that. So I have a schedule. Now granted, that doesn't, that doesn't happen all the time, every day. Also benefits that I can see is being adaptable. That's something that I've learned, because I'm always strict, and I never, when I was a child, and even a preteen, I never really adapted to new environments when it came to, like, the meme culture. Like, I wasn't that open to it. I adapt to YouTube, 
to all their changes and stuff like that. And including the meme culture, because the memes did help me. Just saying, just getting, my, getting used to memes and learning new memes on a weekly basis helped me out, because I could put those in videos. Granted, they may be old memes, but I'm learning new memes, and I did put them in eventually, like the Crab Rave, um, oof, uh, <laughs> so much stuff. And also the memes of the week, which did help me a lot, because I learned more memes then. <laughs> so that's pretty much it, but hopefully uh, this video was more... It wasn't like the edited videos from the prior years because I don't have the time to do that. Next year, I may do that, like a really edited video. I recently saw Captain Sparkle's 10 years video, and it was really well edited. It showed highlights of each year. I don't know if it'll be that crazy like that, but I am. That does give me inspiration to do something like that. But I really have to see and find out. So. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this year of me doing YouTube and enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe, because it really helps out the channel, even if you may not do it, <laughs> because I say it and it doesn't work, but I really, if you just watch these videos, I'm glad you are. Hopefully you enjoy them, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go now, so goodbye. Uh, yeah, I confess, Father, I confess. I've been living wrong, I know I've been blessed